But when I'm talking about getting all this content out there, looking at our impressions, looking at our reach, there's a point when your organic ranking is gonna completely taper off. In fact, Facebook recently has uh, dialed back how many people you can reach. If you have 10,000 people who like you on Facebook and you post any given content at any given time, you may only ever reach 2,000 of them. This is different. It used to be you could reach all 10,000 plus. It was all very organic and very viral. Well, Facebook went IPO. They had to uh, make a profit, like all social networks face eventually. Well, how do we turn a profit? And advertising is the only way they could do it. But they couldn't give you the farm for free, so they had to take it back. Right? So they tapered you back. You can now only reach maybe about 20% of your audience without engaging in advertising. So when you're looking at trying to take this content, you're posting it on Facebook, you then want to take that content and advertise the content itself. Maybe this is a blog, maybe this is a video, maybe this is a creative commercial that you just did. Um, when it comes to Facebook advertising, we mostly focus on promoting page posts. You can spend some money and some time on getting page likes, but it's 98% ineffective. It's a very hard form of advertising to grow on. So what I'm gonna impart to you is focus more on sponsoring good content. Sponsoring those stories and promoting those stories, not trying to generate likes. I'll tell you why here in a little bit. When I'm talking about sponsored posts, here's a good example of a coffee client we work with. Their head roaster won a competition uh, for the Head Brewers Cup, and so we wanted to do a blog that showcased how they won this. This was to establish some thought leadership for Cuvée uh, and generate a little bit of, uh, of eyeballs to the people who attended that conference. So we took that blog, we took a great picture of Lorenzo. You can see we bitly linked it, just like I told you, we do it with everything. And uh, we're, we're using the Facebook ad platform to create this type of an advertisement. So we've got organic reach, we're getting some activity around it, we've got some viral reach, we're getting some interactions. Now we're gonna layer on some advertising and watch our impressions skyrocket, right? So this is why you wanna use Facebook advertising. It's very effective to reach past your audience, uh, well past the people who like your page. Twitter ads are another way to do it. They're not as uh, sexy as Facebook ads. This is an example of what a Twitter ad looks like when it hits your feed. This is just Twitter small business trying to get me to advertise with them. Uh, and I just caught this and popped it up for you. It's pretty simple advertisement. You can get a lot of different metrics to it. Mostly you're gonna be looking at impressions, but the interesting thing about Twitter advertising is that you can actually directly advertise to followers of your competition. So don't start eyeballing each other and looking at who you're going to uh, start snaking through Twitter advertising. Let's try to be collaborative for today at least. <laughs> but, uh, you know, let's say your school has a great Model UN program. You can advertise to people who are following the UN or high schools with great Model UN programs on Twitter or figures within the political science realm and you can advertise directly to them because you know they have the same interest. So that's the great thing about Twitter advertising. 